would you please describe the role of the liver in the mm -hmm. body? Because I was just amazed when I was looking at your book, The Amazing Liver and Gallbladder Flush. I had no idea. Yes, it's one of those organs that doesn't get the attention that it really or the credit deserves that and yes. the credit you know, for all the different kinds of work or jobs that it has to perform every single day. Um, the liver is probably the most complex organ in the body. It is said to be even surpassing the brain in terms of its multitudes of different kinds of things that the brain obviously doesn't do such as filtering the blood. Mm -hmm. Now you think that you know, filtering the blood would be like having a filter and then it's just, no, that's not how it works. The liver is a very large organ. It spans from the right side to, all the way to the left. Right. And, uh, but its, its bulk part, the largest part, proportion of it is mm -hmm. on the right side. And it is, it is saturated with blood most of the time. Right. There are certain times when it's like the ebb and the tide, mm -hmm. where you have more and, and other times less. In the night time, between 10 and 2, you have the most blood in the liver. Okay. So that's its most active time. That's when it needs to uh, clean the blood more than any other time. And it does that by allowing the entire blood that it collects from the back of the brain, from the uh, digestive system, from the muscles, from you know, basically areas that you don't need when you sleep mm -hmm. to, to bring it into the liver and then the liver cells will you know, uh, take it up, we will start you know, cleaning it out and they do that by allowing the, the blood to go right through the blood vessels that have holes in them mm -hmm. called sinusoids so the entire blood goes outside the blood vessels not like in any other organ in the body and then the liver cells work with that so the most important jobs that uh, any organ has to do is to deal with the blood. Because right. once the blood is becoming unbalanced in one way or another, then uh, you are suffering from uh, major disruptions of your balance. So mm -hmm. the body is therefore trying to keep the blood as perfect as possible at all times. And liver is one of the major um, your organs to deal with that. So when there are certain things entering the blood that are potentially harmful for the body, mm -hmm. then the liver tries to take it out, break it down, and uh, pass these breakdown products into the bile ducts, where okay. these bile ducts are you know, like a, a huge network. It's mm -hmm. like a tree with many branches and smaller branches, mm -hmm. and you have two trees like that in the liver. All They're right. called the bilary trees. And so the, the cells of the liver will then, by taking those contaminants out, pass them into the bile ducts. The bile ducts are supposed to transport them down to the exiting bile ducts. There are two of them. They mm -hmm. combine into one, so it becomes a trunk now. Okay. And that is the common bile duct. And that's where the, the liver you know, creates its outlet for these waste products. How does it do that? I mean, where do they go? And then they go into the small, the common bile duct ah, goes into the gallbladder, right. the gallbladder collects it, and then the gallbladder, puts it, yeah. okay. and then it squeezes its content into the small intestine via the common bile duct. And that's when it eventually enters the large intestine for elimination. So that's how the waste products are delivered out of the body. Now imagine if uh, the, you know, the, that job is not done properly. Mm -hmm. It affects every part of the body. Because uh, that's central will, station, right? Yes, so otherwise if the, if the liver's ability to remove contaminants and toxins, environmental toxins, food toxins, antibodies, which are natural toxins in plant mm -hmm. foods, all of that has to be detoxified. It's not just everything is useful. There are certain things which the body has to discard. And uh, uric acid, urea, other waste products, ammonia, very caustic. Mm -hmm. You know how it smells when you have ammonia in the yes. bathroom. Mm -hmm. so, so these things, they have to be detoxified and re removed constantly. So the liver has to you know, do that. Uh, another function is the liver makes sure that the blood is never getting too thick or too thin. So mm -hmm. it, it has its own blood thinner, so to say. Um, the blood is so complex that we have no idea yet how complex it is. The plasma of the blood alone has like 10,000 different, you know, different ingredients in it. And the, the blood itself is so complex. A blood drop, one drop of blood, 
um, has it has so much in it that is compared you know, to the, the, the structure of the entire body, the complexity in of one, one drop. drop of blood. It's like a hologram, if okay. you know what holograms mm -hmm. are, that the small has the entire whole, the big as well. So the you take a part of out of the yeah. hologram, out of a particular structure, mm -hmm. it is basically containing the whole thing. So the liver is uh, also you know, responsible for making cholesterol. And uh, so that is one of the biggest things, because without cholesterol we could not live. Uh, you couldn't see, you couldn't hear, you couldn't do anything, you couldn't think a thought without cholesterol. Uh, cholesterol. cholesterol is, yeah, the, the, the main, is one of the main ingredi ingredients with the protein. That's why cholesterol is, is uh, fat and protein, so mm -hmm. combined. Right. Uh, protein carries the fat around, so you need the protein to deliver the fat, the, the cholesterol. Um, fat and uh, that is used as a building block for most of everything, including heart cells and brain cells. So you have to have a, a well-functioning liver to do all of that. There are total about 500 jobs that the liver does all at the same time. It sounds like each a master one, organ. Each one is as complex as any other. Mm -hmm. So to it is responsible for uh, breaking down foods or nutrients that you have mm -hmm. digested. They cannot be used in that form. They have to be converted. They have to be synthesized into others, like amino acids synthesized into proteins. Um, it, it has to, uh, for every kind of uh, you know, you know, function in the body, it has to supply certain enzymes. So mm -hmm. it makes 1,000 different enzyme systems. Uh, it's just in incredible. Uh, in all the different you know, things yes. it is involved in. And then it is a, a, an organ that also distributes energy throughout the system. Oh, really? It also co you know, converts complex sugars, uh, co complex carbohydrates into complex sugar res reserves, glycogen, and then convert that into glucose when you need it mm -hmm. in order to nourish the cells in your body so that they can metabolize your food and, uh, and oxygen and uh, deliver energy, which uh, the only, that's the only thing the body is after, energy. Mm -hmm. So glucose gets converted into ADP molecules and that you know, becomes basically the energy that you say, oh, I feel good today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't want to allow our livers to become congested. No, you don't want them to become congested, lethargic, um, suffocating, um, or in any other way impaired. Mm -hmm.